National Signing Day 2018 is in the books. Matt Jones joined now by Coach Todd Cooley, head football coach here at Delta State. And Coach, today, 40 new members to the Delta State University family, 33 signings today, seven mid-year transfers, and you've got to be pleased with this year's class. Oh, very pleased. I thought our coaching staff did an excellent job of uh, not only identifying talent, but then going out and just turn over every rock and really found some great players and some better better people. Really really enjoyed meeting their parents, and uh, we, we couldn't be happier right now. Coach, a, a marked difference, really, if you look at uh, this class. It started last year. You started seeing the, the turnover from bringing in more junior college players to bringing in more high school kids. This year, 33 high school signees. Uh, well, in 32. this group, 32, one, one junior college signee today, uh, really got to uh, to be excited about the youth that's coming into this program. We, we are. Uh, we felt like we really had a, a strong class a year ago, and, uh, you know, that's still – you know, how they finish up still remains to be seen, but they're working hard, doing a good job. But really excited about the talent level of this group and, and, and the fact that they wanted to play uh, at Delta State. That means a lot to me. And, uh, you know, these guys I'm very proud of because a lot of them were, you know, being recruited and tugged at by other programs, and rightfully so. They're talented guys. But these guys stuck to their guns. They stuck to their commitment. And that means so much to us because uh, we stuck with them as well. Coach, a, a market geographical footprint from the south. Uh, a lot of Mississippi kids, Alabama, Louisiana, all over the uh, the panhandle of Florida. Really a good job even getting over into Georgia this year with this year's class. And also some kids from Texas, which we reached out into last year. Yeah, you know, Coach Thompson's done a good job. Jesse, our recruiting coordinator, has done a really good job of getting into Texas. And, of course, Kelvin Green's been a – he's been doing an excellent job in, in, in the Georgia-Atlanta area for a while. And, you know, when you go around – and I went on some home visits with him and, and and with Coach Thompson as well. Those two guys did a great job. But our whole staff, I mean, they just work hard at it. Coach Partridge did a good job getting us back into Memphis, which we, we needed to get back in there and get going. And um, he did a great job with that. And then we got some local kids, which is, you know, something that we've been missing on, uh, just to be honest with you. You know, it's just very hard to tug them away from junior college programs in this state. And those junior colleges do a really good job. But these guys wanted a little something more, and they decided to come here to Delta State. And, uh, you know, we're, we're excited about them. Coach, when you break down the class from today's signees, uh, seven offensive linemen, seven linebackers, but when we added them all up, almost perfect balance between offense and defense, and that's really uh, almost hard to do these days. It is. It is. It's just kind of the way it fell, but uh, we felt like we were going to try to get balance, and, you know, about a week ago, I thought it was going to be slanted a little more heavily defensively, but, um, you know, here in the last couple of days, you know, as it always happens, we lost a couple of guys uh, that, that went other directions. That's going to happen when you're recruiting the right kinds of kids, and uh, with everybody wants them. So, uh, but yeah, really excited about the balance in this program. Coach, uh, the mid-year guys, only seven this year, uh, really addressed some needs in those spots and very targeted in the recruiting focus for those mid-year guys this year. Well, no question. And at the end of the day, I mean, we, we're we finishing some guys up with their degrees. And uh, when you're doing that, you don't have a lot of spots at mid-year. Uh, so uh, we had five guys graduate early in December. Um, we've got another 17 that are slated to graduate in the spring. Uh, so we didn't have a lot of money at mid-year, but uh, a lot of scholarship spots. But uh, we did a good job, and I think we found some really good key fixtures, and those guys are doing a pretty good job right now. They're still learning kind of how we do things and trying to get adapted to our culture. But I'm excited about those guys and what they're doing so far in the weight room and off-season program. And now it's time to kind of switch gears after day. Today's an awesome day. Uh, it's a great day. And, you know, I think we'll keep the streak alive. I haven't heard one coach that said he was disappointed in his recruiting class. And I'm definitely not disappointed in this one. I'm very excited about it. But now it's time to switch gears uh, and start focusing on – you know, our family that's here right now getting better as we move on to spring ball. Some key dates coming up for the Delta State family, obviously. Spring ball will start March 21st, our fifth annual Delta State University uh, Delta State Family Golf Tournament, and drawdown will be on the 29th. And mm -hmm. before we know it, it'll be time to play the spring game coming up uh, in April as well, April 19th. April 19th, yeah. But, uh, yeah, we'll start getting tickets out here in the next couple of weeks for the drawdown. And, um, you know, that's always a big event for us. But, yeah, practice starts March 21st. We hope everybody will come out. We hope everybody's going to be there tonight at the Cleveland Country Club at 5.30 to, to uh, welcome in this class. All right, Coach. Well, congratulations today Thank on you. signing day. Great it's day. certainly an exciting day here at Delta State. For more information, log on to GoStatesman.com for a complete listing of today's National Signing Day class, including mid-year transfers.